All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. First thing here is Hydra. This is Point Break. This came out a while back, but uh, hasn't been out that long, but was kind of ignored by most of the music industry. Kind of sounds like Toto a little bit. Uh, one song in particular kind of sounds like the band Europe. This is a band from Sweden. I know that's confusing because I just talked about Toto, Europe, and Sweden all within a couple of sentences. But I really liked this. You can check this out, courtesy of Frontiers Music. I think I liked it more than they liked it over at the label. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is just really great music and um, something else to listen to, you know, something to get your mind off of what's going on with certain rock bands these days. Um, so yeah, I was actually invited to a concert last weekend and I actually went to the concert, which is unusual because um, typically I turn down a lot of things because they're just so far away from me. And um, you know, there's a babysitter involved and uh, there's a lot of planning and uh, I just don't do any of that stuff all that well. And I don't like to travel all that much anymore. I'll go a couple of hours in the car and then I'll be like, you know what? That's toast. You know, I went to Thanksgiving dinner yesterday and I couldn't wait to get home. So in any event, um, I went to go see Jeff Coffey, Bill Champlin, Keith Howland and John Paris. And uh, they are almost like a new, better version of Chicago. Now, Three of those guys used to be in Chicago. Uh, Bill Champlin, to see Bill Champlin performing live is such a treat. And I had to do kind of a flashback because I've seen Bill Champlin before. It was 1986 on the Chicago 18 tour. Wow. Um, <laughs> shows you how old I am, right? But that was a great show. Uh, and last night, was a great show or not last night, but last week. Um, and I got to tell you, this band is a lot more fun to watch than the current lineup, which is Chicago, which has kind of become a bit of, you know, a revolving door. I mean, all these guys, three of these guys left Chicago and then you've got Danny Serafin out there. Um, you've got Lou Pardini out there. You've got Tris and Bowden out there. Um, so let's talk about this band. I mean, this band was off the hook. Um, they were doing both Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire songs. In fact, um, Bill Champlin was trying to educate the audience. And he was talking about George Benson, who he called the greatest guitarist he's ever worked with. I mean, that's super high praise. Um, and he won a Grammy Award for this little song that he performed called Turn Your Love Around. And I think the audience was a little bit dumbfounded because they were maybe expecting just Chicago or maybe Chicago and one or two Earth, Wind & Fire songs. And they did probably three or four EWF songs. And those songs, I think, got some of the biggest response of the night other than the encore, which was um, I'm a Man after just a blistering version of 25 or six to four. It was really good to hear Keith Howland again. Uh, he is an exceptional guitar player. And during the set, Bill Champlin uh, was giving incredible amounts of praise to both Howland and Coffee, saying that Jeff probably uh, was one of the best tenor vocalists he's ever worked with. And wasn't it also super cool to see a bass player who could sing up there again, a singing bass player or a singer who can play bass. And Jeff does it so well, people forget about that. That was the formula for Chicago, play bass and sing. Peter Cetera, Jason Chef, Jeff Coffey. Uh, they broke that tradition with their new singer. And when you analyze the band that I went to go see, right, and what they can do, versus the current lineup of Chicago. Let me tell you this, if you're an 80s Chicago fan, you're gonna get Bill Champlin singing material off of Chicago 19. We heard Look Away 
and we heard, um, I don't want to live without your love. Look Away was epic because uh, Bill Champlin kind of went off on a tangent toward the end. And you had to be there to actually understand what he was saying about, you know, some of the lyrics. And uh, he wasn't really that happy for the girl. <laughs> if you know the ending to the song, he basically made it clear that he wasn't really all that happy for her. So um, <laughs> just an epic song. And Bill was very feisty, very talkative, uh, dropped a few uh, colorful words during the performance. But this is one of those, you know, praise Bill, Bill Champlin moments, because he's just such a treasure. He is an American treasure, 75 years old, and vocally intact. Like everything he did and sang was very similar to the way it was decades ago. So Bill Champlin still delivering, still bringing it at a real professional level and doesn't need to be auto-tuned. They don't need to tune everything down for Bill. It was just a really stunning performance, uh, really from the whole band. Another surprise was this drummer, John Paris from Earth, Wind & Fire, who again, I'm, I'm not trying to be Mr. Negative here, but the drumming in Chicago right now is like Santana Transit Authority, right? It's just changed. Um, when Tris and Bowden left, um, that was like, I don't know, just steady, reliable, um, strong drumming. Uh, even the guys in Chicago, they made a point of saying when uh, Tris uh, replaced Danny Serafin, that Tris was like the timekeeper. And, you know, Danny was this lead drummer and he was all over the place. And they complained because they couldn't find the drums. They, they couldn't kind of line things up with the beat appropriately. But um, John Paris did a lot of that stuff. John Paris not only did um, the strong beats, but he also did some crazy lead drumming. And the guy was insane. He was one of the better musicians I've seen in a long time. And he completely blew me away. So you have Champlin, you've got John Paris, you've got Jeff Coffey who can sing and play bass. And by the way, Jeff's voice is so crystal clear on these Chicago songs that demand it, you know, whether it's uh, hard to say I'm sorry or hard habit to break, you hear everything crystal clear if you leave me now, which again, probably the band's biggest song ever when you think about um, their entire history. Although, you know, Look Away is the fastest charting number one Chicago song ever. So Bill Champlin, who sang that, and Diane Warren, who wrote it. I mean, that combination with Ron Nevison and his smart 1989 uh, production value just absolutely uh, hit a home run way over the bleachers. I mean, just an amazing song. But again, when you look at Chicago today, the band, I mean, who's their bass player right now? Well, it was Brett Simons for a while, and Brett's a pretty good bassist. But Brett is no longer. Um, you have to have kind of like a, a program, an updated program, or be on the Chicago The Band website frequently. Uh, their bass player is now Eric Baines, who I'm not really that familiar with. And if you look at the vocals, Neil Donnell against Jeff Coffey. You know, um, I'm going to go with Jeff Coffey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Jeff, I know the, the band, the current lineup of Chicago, the old timers are like, yeah, Neil is just like Peter Cetera, maybe better. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, sorry. And I would say this, Jeff Coffey is not better than Peter Cetera. Jason Chef is not better than Peter, but they're very good in their own way. But Peter had something very unique. And having Bill up there, you have this connection, by the way, to Peter, because so many of those songs those ballads on 16, 17, 18, uh, even on 19, uh, even though those songs didn't do as well as the solo Bill songs, um, Bill Champlin was incredibly important to those songs. And to hear Bill and Jeff going back and forth on, say, you know, Hard Habit to Break, 
it's just awesome. Bill is so important. And Jeff does a perfect job uh, being a very clear tenor and just singing his butt off. And I've always been a fan of Jeff Coffey when uh, he first got there and I wasn't sure what was going on with Jason Chef. I made all these videos and then I felt sorry later because nobody was talking about what was going on with uh, Jason, but Jeff just jumped in there and was instantly excellent. It didn't take him long to understand what his job was and also um, how to really just do justice to these amazing songs. So anyway, I wanted to give people like a review and a comparison. You know what? I'd like to see this band again. And I think this band could um, do a tour and make some money. <clears throat> they have a naming issue right now. They call themselves the players. <laughs> I, I look that up. And unfortunately, there are a lot of other things called the players. So they may have some issues with that. I think it's just a temporary way to identify these guys because they all are really great players. John Paris, Bill Champlin, Keith Howland, who was amazing. And you really felt Keith on those big guitar songs, like I'm a Man, where he just went off on this psychedelic tangent at the end, which was so fitting and so much like the original uh, when Terry did it and then, you know, 25 or six to four, which again, makes a huge difference when you have somebody with his, um, playing skills, playing a song like that, the audience just comes to life and he puts that extra growl in the guitar. I've heard other people do it and it's just very flat, even though the song was composed to be like this epic song. If you're not playing it the way it was recorded, it loses a lot in translation. So that's just my, you know, analysis and opinion there. You may disagree with that and that's fine. Um, anyway, folks, uh, these guys are great. I hope they do more concerts. Uh, I want to thank Jeff and Holly Coffee for inviting me to the show. It was a great night out. It was a perfect night here in Southwest Florida. And by the way, the concert was for a good cause for hurricane relief and for people struggling with mental health issues. So, um, you know, I made sure that I patronized some of the folks who were working there because all of the proceeds went to uh, hurricane and mental health issues. So really cool. Jeff Coffey, awesome. Can't wait to see those guys again. Here is Hydra. Check this out if you have a chance. Point Break, courtesy of Frontiers Music. Really, really good. It's going to finish in my top 20 for the year. And I will be, of course, putting that list together fairly soon as we are getting to the end of the year, which is really scary, but it happens every year. You know what I mean? And I want to put out a good list this year. I bought a whole bunch of music and I think I've got more music on the way. So it's going to be tough to put together a top 20, but I will work on that. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you again soon.